Good morning, everyone. This morning, I want to share an excerpt from a book entitled In Conversation with God. This is truly the prophet who was to come. No man ever spoke like this man. Our Lord speaks very simply about the most profound things, and he does so in an attractive and thought-provoking way. His words were understood as much by a doctor of the law as by the fishermen from Galilee. Jesus' way of speaking is pleasant and well-suited to his hearers. He often repeated the same doctrine, but he sought to adapt his comparisons to the people who happened to be listening to him. The grain of wheat that must die in order to bear fruit, the joy of finding some coins that have been lost, the discovering of a hidden treasure. Through images and parables, he has taught us in the best possible way about the sovereignty of God our creator, and at the same time has shown us that he is a father who cares lovingly for each one of his children. Nobody has proclaimed as he did the fundamental truth of humanity, our freedom and our supernatural dignity, both of which come to us through the grace of divine filiation. The crowds sought him out to listen to him. Often it was necessary to tell the crowds to go away. Christ has the words of eternal life, and he has given us the task of passing his teaching on to all generations, right down to the end of time. Today, too, people thirst for the words of Jesus, the only words that can bring peace to the soul, the only words that teach the way to heaven. All of us Christians have a share in this mission to make Christ known. All the faithful, from the Pope to the last person to have been baptized, share in the same vocation, the same faith, the same spirit, the same grace. All share actively and with the same degree of responsibility within the necessary plurality of ministries and the one mission of Christ and his church.